proctologist in the house? <laughs> Can you not call security? Or a proctologist, either one would do it. Right now, I'm at the University of Ottawa. This is the place where they shut down Ann Coulter by pulling the fire alarm. Well, our friend Janice Fiamengo experienced a similar problem. She was shut down last Friday. Check it out. Okay, you know, it's the signature. It's the signature of a totalitarian ideology to attempt to quash dissent. So every time you interrupt, you're merely showing your repressive tendencies. You're not showing anything about your virtue. Okay, let's forget it. So you think this is a victory? Yeah, why are you so frightened of hearing a, an opinion different from your own? You're pathetic. Janice Fiamengo joins me now in her office. And Janice, it must was it just disappointing that this happened yet again? Uh, attempt to, to have a, a meaningful discussion shut down at university? Or is this just par for the course? Unfortunately, it does seem to be par for the course now. I was disappointed, but I also felt that at least it made my point that I was trying to make it at Queen's and, uh, and at the University of Ottawa that unfortunately on campus today, uh, it isn't possible to discuss a whole range of subjects because there is this very vocal minority of hardcore radical students who don't believe in free speech. Now, when I was looking at going to university, maybe I was just foolish, I was idealistic. I thought, well, this is where you go to debate ideas. This is where you go to think big, mm -hmm. to have your thoughts challenged, to challenge others. And I is it campus-wide? Is it just within certain faculties? Is it at does it just happen for talks like yours that are outside of the classroom? Well, um, I think that it happens particularly for a number, it's campus-wide, I would say, and then it happens um, on a number of key issues. If you want to uh, discuss abortion from a pro-life position, if you're pro-Israel, uh, if you want to talk about Islam in ways that are politically incorrect, and now if you want to talk about men's issues in a way outside of the uh, feminist framework of the evil patriarchy, someone is going to claim that you are a proponent of hate and or that you're in some way um, you know, suppressing women's rights and that therefore you do not have any right to, to speak at all. And, and Anything. Y'all are being oppressed by capitalism. And like our common enemy is capitalism. Well, why don't you find out? Not this guy. He's a boss. Why don't you well, find like, out? Well, wait a minute. It makes sense now. Now I know why you have Kim Jong Un's haircut. 